All right, everyone, so we're back on the SAT math grind. So this question says a salesperson's total earnings consists of a base salary X dollars per year plus a commission's earning of 11% of the total sales the salesperson makes during the year. All right, so let's just write this out. So the salesperson is going to make a base salary of X, and he's going to get on top of that 11%, so we'll just express this as 0.11 of the total sales. So the total sales, let's just call it S, okay? So it says this year the salesperson has a goal for the total earnings, so this value right here, the total earnings, to be at least three times and at most four times the base salary. The base salary, remember, is the value X, which the following inequalities represents all possible values of total sales S in dollars the salesperson can make this year in order to meet that goal. And so we just have to write our inequality out. So I'm actually just going to erase this and write our inequality. So we know that has to be at least three times the base salary. So let's write 3x is less than or equal to our total uh, earnings and at most four times the base salary. So that's going to be less than or equal to 4x. All right, so now that we're looking at our answer choices, none of them actually line up, right? C is similar, right, with 3x and 4x, but it just has s in the middle, whereas we have x plus 0.11s. Therefore, in order to actually get an answer that matches up with one of the answer choices, we need to simplify this inequality. So here, very simple, we can just subtract x on all sides, and we end up getting 2x less than or equal to 0.11s is less than or equal to 3x. And now again, we want to isolate for s because you see in all these answer choices, s is by itself in the middle as the uh, total sales. Therefore, we can just divide all sides by 0.11. So we get 2x over 0.11 is less than or equal to s less than or equal to 3 x over 0.11 and we can see that this answer choice right here lines up directly with answer choice b and therefore that is our answer so that does it for the video guys make sure you check out our other sat math prep videos and i'll see you in the next one